Hello. Um, in the spirit of supporting open source components, no, what the hell am I saying? Again, again, start again. Hi, welcome to another video blog post. And this video blog post is going to cover how to contribute to open source software. Uh, this topic was chosen in the spirit of r the release of the new uh, kits set of libraries which you should definitely check out if you haven't already and I was thrilled and excited uh, thanks to the uh, contributions that came from various uh, people so um, in order to kind of give everybody a, a set of like steps to follow in order to make the contributions easier I decided to make this video <coughs> Um, so without further ado, let's say we want to contribute to the apps repository. Uh, first of all, we're just going to go and fork the repository. This will effectively create a clone of the repository uh, under our account. So in this case, it's under my account. And then we simply copy it. Um, and for this tutorial, I'm going to use source tree because it's such a convenient application to manage your git repositories and we'll say clone from URL this is the source destination can be um, let's see developer open source if I can spell apps um, we'll leave the advanced options as they are and clone uh, now when it's done, it will show us this graph of the actual repository and immediately we can see how the contributions came in. Um, like as you can see, when like at, at, at this point, two contributors came in and started adding their changes. Um, and then uh, the first contribution was merged in while the second contribution now was out of sync so they had to kind of pull the latest changes as denoted by this line make a few more changes and then it was uh, merged um, at this point this contribution should have actually pulled the latest changes uh, made more changes and then it can be better merged um, back to the main repo uh, to see exactly what I mean, um, let's let's look at an example. Um, I don't have an idea for a contribution, but I think we can come up with something. Let's say let's say we want to actually make a small contribution to. Uh, let's see. Instead of open, let's do a sublime for the readme file. Um, let's say we want to fix the readme file in some way by uh, what happened okay this was updated um, by changing something over here uh, let's also add a thank you to all contributors uh, contributors uh, this library could not have made it so far without the generous contributions of various developers. Uh, so we made this change and we want to kind of submit it as a pull request. Um, we can the best way we, we can just commit it, but it would be better if we say if we do a new branch, we call it readme contributors. This will create a new branch for us to commit to, and then we say commit. Uh, and with, when we say commit, it will say here push changes immediately to origin readme contributors. That will this will commit the changes to this branch and push it to our uh, remote repository. Uh, at contributors 
credits. Let me say commit. Um, and it is sent to the remote. And as you can see, GitHub is just amazing when it comes to these things. Uh, it just gives you, hey, compare and pull request. It detected that we made changes on this branch and say, yeah, compare and pull request. Um, everything looks as we expect it to be, so we say, okay, create this pull request. Um, before I can actually merge this, we'll just wait for Travis to perform all the tests, and then if it, everything succeeds, we can merge. Uh, meanwhile, there is a chance that someone else made changes to the main repository. So in order to make sure that our repository is always up to date, we have to switch to master from time to time. And uh, actually, we have to wait for this to finish. <coughs> actually, we have to. It's it's a good idea to add the main uh, remote repository to this uh, repository. So we say kit and we go to apps repository copy the repository URL and we add it um, so what what did we just do as you can see we have this origin repository or remote repository which points to my fork of the project and then we have another repository which is called kids which points to the main repository where all the contribution contributions are consolidated to. Uh, with these two repositories, we can now like hit OK. And um, in order to not waste more time, I'll just merge this because it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, delete branch. Um, and now if we say fetch, <coughs> we can see that there are changes that have been made on kids master as you can see this is kids repository master branch and this is origin which is my fork master and you as you can see they're out of sync my master is behind the kids master so what i have to do here is say pull and choose the main repository the master branch and now hit ok and you'll see that this label origin master will update to the well origin master hasn't like I pushed ma I, I pulled the latest master from the kids repository to the local branch which is now masters two commits ahead from the origin so now I push it to my fork uh, I hope that wasn't confusing I'll go over it again one more time after this is done and now you can see that origin master is in sync with kids master and everything is now back to normal and now I can start adding more contributions or start making more contributions so what just happened was I forked my master branch called it readme contributors made some changes and then submitted a pull request which was merged on kids master now this this change wasn't made on origin master which is my fork master branch so I had to pull from the kids repository the master branch and hit OK and that pulled all the changes from the kids including my contribution to the local master branch on my computer and then I hit push to push these changes to my fork uh, and hit OK and that updated the origin master so everything is in sync. Uh, that's really basically it. There are more things to worry about when if this like was a uh, um, like a more complicated repository. But as far as the kids repositories go, they they are really simple. And this basic knowledge of uh, Git and GitHub is more than enough to make contributions. Uh, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. I hope this was useful, and I hope to see more contributions. Uh, and thanks for your time.